We all know by now the Detroit Lions have struggled defensively. Like, they've just struggled, straight up struggled. So what is the problem? Okay, we've talked about it. Is it Matt Patricia? Is it because we have young players in key positions? Those all may be true. But this number, this percentage, this statistic may just pretty much sum up what's going on with the Detroit Lions. So let's get it started. In this video, we are looking at this statistic for the Detroit Lions. Lions Wire actually put this statistic out. Shout out to them. This stat basically kind of sums up what the heck is going on with the Detroit Lions. If you guys remember coming into the year, one of the things that we talked about was, okay, the Lions strategy defensively is simple. Get pressure without having to send a blitz, and you're going to be dominant on defense. The Detroit Lions finished as a top 10 defense last season, and they brought in some help on the defensive line, and all of us, well... I say most of us, not everybody, was expecting this defense is going to be insane. I don't know what teams are going to do. Are they going to be able to run the ball? Heck no. Are they going to be able to throw it? Probably not. They won't be able to get it off. This defense line is going to be insane. Granted, there has been injuries. Deshaun Hand, which wasn't expected. Austin Bryant, which was basically expected. Mike Daniels, not really expected. But there's still some talent out there. But this, this statistic shows... Shows a lot of problems with the Detroit Lions right now. Your pass rush disruption rate. Okay, I know that's kind of hard to say. Pass rush disruption rate. I cannot English, man. It's three times fast. Ready? Pass rush disruption rate. Pass rush disruption rate. Pass rush disruption rate. I'm not going to stop. I need to stop. I'm embarrassing myself. Basically, it's called pass rush disruption rate. Okay, and that's maybe getting a sack, a quarterback hit, getting a hurry, something along those lines. The Lions rank last. They rank last in that stat. Now, I don't know if that surprised anybody, but it's actually really concerning, and it kind of sums up what the heck is going on with the Detroit Lions def defense right now. On the loss to the Raiders, the Lions were only credited for one sack in that entire game. Flowers, Trey Flowers had one sack in the game, and that was it. And Trey Flowers has really been the guy that's been getting double teamed, and he also had one quarterback hit. That's all. That, that's literally all we did to the Raiders with that pass rush. Now, I know when teams get off quick passes, they run the ball the whole time. It makes it really hard to get a pass rush. But this pass rush has been basically non-existent. It's come up for weeks. We've talked about it for a while now, and it's existing through. If this can change, our whole defense could change. I mean, if this has become okay, it would be huge. We need that to definitely happen. And hopefully, maybe getting a couple guys back from injury will be that change that we need. Detroit Lions only get pressure rate 21.4% of the time. So only 21% of the time are they getting pressure on the opposing quarterback. 21.4, that is not good. And if you guys want to hear the teams that are in the top 10, you have the Rams at one, Cowboys at two, Jaguars and Patriots are actually tied at three. You have the Panthers at four, 49ers at five, Browns at six, Titans seven, eight Cardinals, nine Eagles, ten Steelers. Who is the lowest? Our Detroit Lions. Then we have the Falcons, the Giants, the Seahawks, and Raiders. So Falcons, obviously, they've been terrible this year. The Giants, they haven't been good this year. The Seahawks have been pretty good this year because they have a great offense. And Russell Wilson and Chris Carson, they do their thing. And on the Raiders' side, you know, they're okay, but they don't get a lot of pressure either. But either way, the Detroit Lions are dead last in this statistic. I think this basically sums up a lot of problems the Detroit Lions are having. They're not getting the pressure without setting a rush. And Matt Patricia's scheme, I'm not bashing on a scheme, but his scheme is just not to send a lot of players most of the time. Now, does he blitz? Yes. And people say he doesn't blitz at all. It's not true. He blitz. He does blitz. But... A lot of times the scheme is to drop a lot of players, and I have no problem with that. The problem is the Detroit Lions are just not getting pressure from any of their down linemen. They run a 3-4 a lot of the times. They run hybrids. They just don't get a lot of pressure from the down linemen. Even when they put four down, they just don't get a lot of pressure. It's usually guys like Kennard, Trey Flowers, uh, Snacks, and those kind of guys, and they're just not getting any way, any pressure, not able to find it. Now, if Mike Daniels comes back, if um, Deshaun Hand comes back, which we've seen when he did come back, it did have a big impact. When Austin Bryant, hopefully, if he can play this season, if those guys come to the mix, maybe this would change. And I think if it does change, it'll make our team a lot better, at least defensively, because our offense is fine. That doesn't even need to be touched. Could you have a better run game? Absolutely. But when you're ranked fit, top five in the league offensively, you're doing your job. Defensively, we're not doing our job. And this would be very helpful if we get this thing fixed, okay? I think there's an opportunity here that shows, hey, look, our defense has been really bad this year, but we're also dead last in getting pressure. So if we could just get a little bit more pressure hopefully people getting healthy or maybe just a mindset change that would happen and maybe against the bears we'll have the opportunity a bad bears offense maybe we can get some confidence momentum in that bears game if we can get after mitchell trubisky we'll see what happens i thought this stat was interesting i just had to share it with you guys thank you for watching let me hear your thoughts comments below and i'm out